when we're not camping, our travel trailer is parked right here next to our house, which is not ideal from a storage perspective, having it out in the weather. So ideally, I would love to be able to have it under a roof of some sort, maybe stored indoors in a garage. But if I did that, then the solar panels that are on the roof of my trailer wouldn't be producing any electricity. So that's not great either. And I use that electricity on a daily basis when, when we're not camping to charge my electric car in the garage. And if you're interested in more details about that, I'll post a card above on a video I made going over the details of that electric vehicle charging. I was thinking of different ways that I could protect the trailer better and a fabric cover like what you see behind me here works great except that it also covers the solar panels as it goes over the roof of the trailer or does it. So I recruited my wife Jessica and she cut out the roof of the cover and then took some of that excess material and sewed it into the edges all the way around to help reinforce the cover and then she installed some metal grommets which we then put hooks through and then hooked to the the edge of the solar panels all the way around. We're up here installing the cover with our modifications. This is what the grommets look like when they are installed and the hooks are installed so it's on the bottom edge of the solar panel. The hooks look like this. Uh, this one side I bent out a little bit and then when I put it through the grommet I bend it back and it tight tightens it against the grommet. Um, this is the next grommet that I'm about to install it on. So I'm going to go up there now and show you a little bit um, closer up what that looks like. As you can see, the grommets are placed along here about every 18 inches. And if we come over close to this one right here, you'll see that the, the metal grommet is reinforcing the, the fabric material. And then this hook is pinched to the grommet, you know, it's bent to it with pliers. And then it goes up and around and hooks to the bottom edge of the solar panel and that's the same way all the way along here. So it's actually a really tight fit of the cover to the solar panels. By doing it this way, it's, it allows the solar panels to be fully exposed, except for when it is snowing, of course. Right now, it's the beginning of April, so this is an unusual time to have snow on the panels, and I'm kind of testing to see how, how quickly the snow melts off, but normally I just push off the snow. And I made a video about that, which I'll put a card above as well. Here on the back, it was a little bit different than the sides because the solar panels come all the way out to this outer edge of the back of the trailer and so there isn't really an overhang to go in and have the hooks pulling backwards and I was pretty sure they'd just fall off. So I, I actually have them hooked to the inner uh, unistrut area which is what the solar panel is, is mounted to up there in the front area but I couldn't go in very far because there's a ladder here so it's just hooked along the edge on this area and then there I went back further and none of that has come off this whole winter so that's good. In the front here, you can see there's still a lot of the white roof material that is visible. And that's just simply because we needed that extra material to get down here to the front edge. So we could, couldn't just cut out entirely the white part of the roof. We had to cut it out to the dimensions of the panels. And this front area is the rounded cap of the front of the trailer. And it does have snow that piles up on it. As you can see, there's snow on it right now. And none of that has been a problem. And it hasn't ripped away the hooks or anything like that and probably you can't see it very well, but there are hooks along the front here, but you'll see that they're not hooked to the front edge of the solar panels. They're actually hooked to unistrut that is going across right there between these two long members. It'll make more sense if you go watch the video, I'll post a link to above in a card of how I installed these solar panels on the roof of the trailer. But once again here, I just found that it was easier to hook to that unistrut rather than the bottom edge of the solar panel here on the front. And then also the way we cut the RV cover, it actually cuts across the corners here uh, because we didn't want to have loose material flapping and it's, it, it doesn't make sense to try to hook to a corner. And so it just goes straight across on both corners. And of course, we also have the tires covered as well to protect them from the UV rays. My hope in installing the grommets and the extra reinforcing material was that this will last as long as possible, you know, at least as long as an RV cover typically lasts. And so far it's been five months since we made the modifications and installed it on our trailer and it's been holding up just fine. And I was also a little bit concerned that the hooks maybe would just come off of the edge of the solar panels during maybe when it was windy in the winter. And so far that hasn't happened at all. So that's a, a bonus in my book. So far, I've been very happy with this solution. So if you also have solar panels on the roof of your RV, you might consider cutting some holes in it to reveal those solar panels so that you can utilize them. I hope this has been helpful to see what's been working for us. And with that, I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.